Greetings. This is my sister's old Vax Power 6 vacuum cleaner, which is packed in. She's had a replacement under warranty. She's given me this and said, don't know if you want this to blow up. I don't know what on earth she means by that. I don't know what she takes me for, but... Uh, whoops. Oh, look what we got here. Oh, and it seems the uh, the fan blade seems to have fallen off in the uh, in the impact, so it's got no sort of cooling. Well, we've seen these burn out before. Uh, there are various videos on the net. I've done them. Um, there's quite a few on there. Uh, Aussie Fifties done it. Uh, photonic inductions done it. Uh, basically, because they do go spectacularly well. Uh, it's you know the um, they go a bit uh, a bit green mile when they fail, but I'm going to do this one. Uh, I'm going to film this a little differently, which you may not have seen before. Now this you may have seen before. I've got the motor inside this old washing machine drum, but what I've also got set up is this thermal imaging camera. So I picked myself up a Fleur Thermocam E25. That's recording in tandem with the main camcorder and because this doesn't record video but it does for video output I've got that recording on the camcorder down there so the video out from there is going straight into that one because that one can actually record from video as well as from its own lens. That leaves this camera to film the meters. Now I do have a choice of palettes on this camera, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick, instead of picking rainbow or iron, I'm going to go for grey with white as hot because I can then edit the palette afterwards on the video editing software and choose what I like, like this. And I'm also going to hide the on-screen display. So here we go, the mains is going into the Variac, the Variac is going into the welder which will take for 240 volts in, it'll put about 415 out. Let's see what this thing can handle. Dear, oh dear. What it appears to have done is spat one of its brushes and an awful lot of commutator bars. In fact, I'd say that it's blown all of its commutator bars. There you go, and as you can see that, uh, that commutator is still uh, still a bit warm. It's um, not far off hand temperature now, so it's cooling down. But uh, short and sweet, hope you like that. Catch you soon.